Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about the installation of a Clack WS1 uh, water softener, um, specifically about putting it into service. Now this is the third in the series of uh, installation videos. Um, you want to make sure you watch the first one which is where to install and the second one is about the plumbing connections for the Clack WS1. So at this point we need to make sure that the water softener is fully bypassed like that. So what we would do now is we turn the water back on and we check for leaks. Make sure there's no leaks for the plumbing coming in and out of here and uh, check all that out. Once there's no more leaks we, we plug the unit in and uh, so I have a separate video that, that explains the programming for the Clack WS1 valve so I suggest you watch that now and program it for your water. Now what we would need to do we need to add five gallons of water to the brine tank and, uh, and then we would um, start to put the unit into backwash and we do that by pushing the regen button and holding it down and usually after about five seconds you can hear the motor start up like now and uh, it says eight minutes and it says backwash but the actual backwash cycle doesn't start until it starts counting down like it has now. So what we would do now is we'd open up the inlet valve uh, until water starts to flow through and you'll see water now running to the drain and uh, so what that's now doing well mostly air at first but then eventually you'll see water so what's, what that's doing at this stage is it's um, flushing out all the air out of the media tank but it's also um, backwashing the media itself and it's getting rid of some of the fines that may be uh, mixed in with the, the media itself. So we'd let that run for several minutes and, uh, and, and once you see water flowing continually to the drain, no more air, um, then you can open this a little bit more. Again, watch the drain line and as long as water is continuously flowing to drain and it's nice and clear, then you can fully open this up all the way. So now what we would do is press regen again. So now it's in the brine cycle. So there'll be water flowing to drain, but much more slowly than when it was in the backwash cycle. So now you'd look inside the brine tank where the uh, water is, and you should see the water slowly dropping. Because what it's doing is it's sucking the, the water from here, running it through this uh, brine line in, into the water softener. So once we, we see that happening for about two or three minutes, then we know we're in good shape. So we press regen again. Now depending on the programming of the water softener, it may say backwash like this one says right now, or it may say rinse, but we want to get to the rinse cycle. So we push regen again. So now we can see that it's showing rinse here and it's started counting down now. So now water will be flowing to the drain again. And what that's going to do is going to rinse the media, but it's also going to settle the media back down and uh, that's what we wanted to do. So, um, so we'll let, we'd let it run at this stage for about two or three minutes, rinsing, and again, watch the drain line. Make sure the water is relatively clear running to the drain. There shouldn't be any more fines coming from the media at this point. And uh, once that's happened for two or three minutes, then press regen again. So now what it's gonna go to is the fill cycle. So this is where the water softener puts the correct amount of water in with the salt and it's going to start uh, counting down there. So in this particular programming it's showing five, five minutes and 40 some odd seconds of water that's going to be that's going to go in there. So as it's filling the brine tank now is where you would add salt to the brine tank. So you would just let that run till it finishes its cycle and you've put the salt in. So once you've done that it will automatically go back to the home position or put it back into service and that's where it's going to right now. And you know that it's back in the service position because with the Clack WS1, it's going to display the current time. Open the outlet valve. And uh, now you go uh, back again to the laundry sink or to a bathtub sink, run water to make sure any debris that uh, entered the whole system gets flushed out at this point. And, uh, and then you're good to go. You can run water throughout the house and you've got soft water. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you've been notified about all the new videos. They become available on our YouTube channel, which is located at GaryTheWaterGuy.com. You can check it out. Lots of water treatment uh, 
videos on that site, lots of great information. If you'd like some more information about our products, you can go to thewaterstoremidland.com or thewaterfiltereastore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.